we'll start with quick opening statement and go to questions. Sure. Well, I thought we defended at a very high level. I thought we did a lot of good things defensively to change a little bit of how we've defended to try to take away some penetration. I thought our kids did a really good job of making those adjustments. You know, offensively, we've got to start the game better. I think that's pretty uh, evident at this point in time. Um, and, and we'll work on it, and we'll get better at it. And so I told our players one thing at a time, and, and we did a really good job defensively. We'll take a look at it. We'll make adjustments. We'll figure out how, what that looks like, and we'll go from there. Coach, are you seeing the progress that you, want to, that you wanted to see in this homestand? Yeah, I think our kids have done a really good job of taking care of the basketball, controlling some of the controllables. I think we've defended really well. You know, for the most part, we've limited offensive rebounds. I thought Appalachian State got a few too many today, especially in a stretch. But then I thought after the timeout that 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 they they're the to that for the next timeout we didn't give up any offensive rebounds. So, you know, we're trying to make adjustments. You know, we're controlling some of those things. We're taking care of the basketball. We're getting some really good looks. You know, so. So those things are important. The, the challenging part is, over the course of, of my coaching career, I think a lot of times teams start really well on one end of the ball, and then the other end has to come along. And so what we're seeing is defensively we're farther ahead than we are offensively. But offensively, we're doing some really good things. You know, that just the, the, way, the way that our kids have to play defensively in order for us to be good is really, really aggressive, and it takes a lot out of you. And so then it becomes a, a different situation on the offensive end. You have to slow down. You've got to get the ball in your hand. You've got to get in control. You've got to take a deep breath, but then on the other end, go pressure it again. So that will come in time, you know, and hopefully that time is coming soon. I imagine, like, you probably go back and watch this again. I mean, the shot selection was pretty good. It's just a matter of you know, ball bouncing in and right. out. Uh, there's probably a frustrating aspect to that that, I mean, you're getting good shots or just, you know, not falling. I thought we, when we started the game, I thought we took some quick shots that maybe weren't as good as shots that we got later on. I thought from the the second quarter on, we got really good shots. I, I thought we did. And and I, I thought our post players played a good game. They're really trying to be intentional about getting touches in the lane, something we're really working on. We got some good shots around the rim, you know, but they didn't fall. So, again, those are things we have to continue to work on because the bottom line is your offense looks really good when the ball goes in the basket. No matter what, you're on ball screen offense, dribble drive, motion offense. It doesn't set plays. It doesn't matter. When the ball goes in the basket, it looks like really good offense. Right now, we can evaluate it as we're getting good shots, we're taking care of the basketball, and they're not falling. So then, then what, what, what's going to help us with some of those things? Maybe offensive rebounding. What did you see from Kylie that enabled, enabled her to kind of break out today? Yeah, I thought Kylie did a really good job of really trying to establish herself in the paint first and foremost. I think the first two home games we've seen Kylie really want to shoot it from the arc, you know, and she's really good at that. And she's really good at playing on the perimeter, but we need her to be a presence inside. And I thought she really focused on that. I thought she kept a lot of possessions alive for us. Uh, I thought she's, she did a really good job. She was probably her best overall understanding of what we're looking for. I think the post position in our offense is the hardest position to learn because it's just different than other offenses. Sometimes you're posting up, sometimes you're emptying, sometimes you're screening, sometimes you're ball screening, you know, and so that just it's different than a lot of offenses, so it takes time. When you were, you know, back in April, I guess, uh, trying to put together this first roster, I think Kylie was one of the first that mm -hmm. you signed, uh, so I'm just kind of wondering, uh, did you already kind of know about her? Did you have to go out and learn about her? And, and then, you know, Colorado to West Virginia right. is not next door to each other, so I mean, you know, how, how did, you know, that all kind of work out? We had to learn about her, but when we learned about her and her game, we thought her game fit us and how we want to play. also felt like in talking to her on the phone, she was a kid that really fit our style. She's a kid that's really hungry. She wants to be really good. She asks a lot of questions, and, and she's someone who really wants to be a part of, of a program where she's going to continue to grow and get better, and, and those all are all things that we really focus on. So I thought it was really a good fit. For her, oh, sorry, go ahead. For her specifically, is this a performance that she can kind of build off of? Because, you know, traditionally in her career, she hasn't been that big of a scorer, but 18 points today, uh, is this something she can continue to do? Well, I think it's something that all of us have to do. I think we're, we have a, a group of young ladies who have been really important in their role, and now we have to have roles expand. We need more players to be willing to be more aggressive offensively but also be smart and what does that look like and when should I do what and so that's a learning process but yes absolutely we want her to continue to build off of this you know I think ultimately for us in our offense having a post presence at the rim is important having a post presence outside the arc is really important but when we have a post presence outside the arc then getting somebody else attacking the rim is important and so putting all those pieces together is what we're working on and building on.
kind of interested in her. I'm, I'm assuming just from reading her bio that, that she's from my military family or... or Actually, Kylie, Kylie's someone who, when she went to Colorado, it was really kind of neat because she and her sister, you know, are really close and went to school together. And so this is an opportunity for her to kind of spread her wings a little bit and something that I think she's really excelling in. I think she's doing a really good job. This week ahead, right. how beneficial will it be for you guys to get out on the road, spend some time together bonding, and then obviously play yeah. a couple of uh, quality opponents? Right. I think, as Maddie put it, that, you know, maybe – have the ability to kind of punch you in the mouth and see if you can counter that. Exactly. Important for us, the bonding aspect's really important. The opportunity to play good teams, to play in a neutral site, to be in a different environment, to play when you have to travel. You know, Honestly, there's some advantages to being on the road because you can spend more time together. There's advantages because you can watch. You, it, when we practice here, we may watch 15, 20 minutes of film. We may break it up during the course of practice. We may watch it before practice. When you're on the road, sometimes you have more time to watch and learn and understand and sometimes that really helps you too kind of on that note with, with this trip coming up you know first power five opponent you're going to play it, w will this trip be based on results of win and loss or what you learn about your team from maybe an x's and o's standpoint and how you're seeing that production well the bottom line is we want to be competitive and and i think in our games at home we've been competitive now we go on the road and we need to compete and we need to figure out what that looks like and then we need to figure out how do we work on things like so we we will do a self-scout what do we have to work on for us okay then we'll work on our opponent and studying our opponent and figure out what that looks like but the reality is we have to continue working on us right now it's november what 20th today is that right it's november 20th so we've got a long season ahead we've got to continue building and so for us it can't be just results oriented okay we won it needs to be here's what we have to do better this is what we did really well this is where we improved from last game to this game this is where we improved from two weeks ago to now but here's the next step for us small sample size so far but Jayla seems to be one of your more uh, consistent players so far this season what did you see out of her when you came in? What did you see on film? And what is she doing well compared to this past? In our offense, we would consider a player like J-Lo a prototype. Right, she can defend any position really. Jayla, I think, is a, a, a very elite level defender. I think she can defend on the perimeter. I think she can defend inside. She rebounds well. She takes charges on the ball. She takes charges off the ball. Really working with her early on to to stay down, keep kids in front, trust her, trust her athleticism, trust her toughness at the rim, and not foul. <laughs> That's something we've really tried to put a premium on is keeping teams away from the free throw line. Now Appalachian State got there 19 times, so that we didn't do as good of a job with that. Uh, so I think Jayla's someone we look at on the defensive end and we say, man, she can do a lot of different things for us. On the offensive end, she can shoot it, she can handle it, she's aggressive, she wants to get to the rim, she offensive rebounds well. I think she fits, she can go post up and demand the ball inside. She can do a lot of things that are really good for us. And the reality is for her, trying to get her to just slow down a little bit is really important, you know, and see and recognize and let things open up and then attack. But that's hard to do because you're trying to play really hard. And again, you're wound up on the defensive end going really, really fast and then you got to relax on the offensive end. Okay, now go attack. So that timing of that is something that will come. Kind of in a similar vein, Jayla plus Madison plus JJ, that trio is kind of the most experienced on right. this team within the program. How well did that does that trio play together, and how important is it to have three players like that that can really play well, at least two of them on, a, on any given night? Right. I, th I think it's important for us that they continue – you know, to continue to feed off each other and, and help each other because it takes a lot of energy to play the, the way that we're playing and it, it takes a lot out of you. And so I think they're doing a good job of starting our defense for us. Either Maddie or JJ typically is up kind of establishing our defense early. That takes a lot. Then we ask when they advance the basketball to sprint to the level of the ball and be in the next gap and be ready to make that next next thing happen. On the offensive end, all three of them can shoot it. All three of them can handle it. All three of them can get to the rim. You know, and so again, understanding, you know, when to just kind of let the the offense work a little bit, when to really be in attack mode, because there are points in time when we need to just, like we said in the, the fourth quarter, at this point in time, we need to learn how to play with the lead. And so our motion offense is good because we can get something quick, but we can also move it, we can swing it, we can attack it, and then we can get something a little bit later in the shot clock so that we're not just 
just giving them opportunities to push it in transition again. So learning how to run run our motion offense is really important for us, and I think they're figuring it out at this point in time. Then it's a matter of, okay, this team's switching screens. Now they're not switching screens. Now they're switching some screens, but not other screens. Where is our advantage, and how do we get to that point? And those are all things that you learn as time goes on. A couple games in here, you've sung country roads with the student section. <laughs> with the pet band now. Right. Uh, and and you, you, you're pretty quick to get out to where you're going for Country Road. Let's say that again, quick, right? Yeah, really quick. quick. Thank you. Quick, yes, yeah. thank you. Appreciate um, it. Motivation behind that? Uh, we have some great fans. Yeah, I think our student section has been incredible. It was great the first Thursday night game that we had. Then we had an education day and then a Sunday afternoon game. So a little bit harder with student section, but we're working to build it. And they've been here. They had a, a group here that I think some of them missed their class on Thursday for our education game and asked for a pass. So we'll have to make sure that they're taken care of. You know, But then also we're here again today. Our, our pep band, our pep band's great. We, it's a big pep band and they're, they're allowed. And they can, you know what I told our team in the locker room after the game? Most of the time, like I played in the pep band and I can't sing. I can, I can play the saxophone, right? So pep bands aren't really always known to really have great voices because they play instruments that are not singing. Our pep band can sing. They're really talented. And they sing loud and, and, and on key. Like I wasn't on key and they didn't care. We just sang it loud. So I think it's important that our, our, our fans understand how important they are to us. It really helps. We want to build this into a great home crowd and, a, and a, the environment. And, and I thought, our, I don't even know what our students were yelling again in the fourth quarter with about three or four minutes to go. But whatever it was, it must have been pretty funny because everybody was laughing around them. So I've got to tune in a little bit better to hear them. But they're getting after it. They're, they're engaged and, and they're having a lot of fun. You kind of changed up the rotations a little bit today, getting ISIS in a little early. Yep. Uh, is that just stuff you're seeing in practice, or are you still just kind of tinkering a, a little bit? Well, we, we, we really needed to establish ourselves. We felt it was really important in this game to establish ourselves inside. You know, and we were trying to figure out who who could do that. And I think ISIS is someone that, in that spot, really did a good job. And now what we're learning, you know, Kylie's getting better at it. Tavi did a better job of it. Messiah was in doing some of it. You know, and then ISIS, you think, well, if you're switching some ball screens because this is a team that wants to get to the rim, so they're using some ball screens to get to the rim, can those kids all defend on the perimeter? And I thought our post kids did a pretty good job of understanding it. And then there are things that happen in the game. You know, we're switching ball screens, but they set the ball screen, you know, four, six feet outside the arc. Well, that's when we don't have to switch. You know, regardless of what other ball screen coverage we're in we don't have to switch that it, but understanding all those things we haven't we even gotten to practice all those kind of things and so I thought our post kids did a really good job defensively that, that was a hard matchup for us on the defensive end and I thought they did a really good job you excited to go to Mexico we are, yeah. We're excited about it. Good opportunity for us again to continue growing, continue learning. It's a great tournament. It's a great, great setup. So I've been to it before. It's a first class event. So looking forward to it. Got to go pack bags, though. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you.